Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I have been nominated for this thing called Hashtag The Person Behind The Games. I was nom nominated by Slinky and today I'm going to be talking about my story behind how I got into gaming, etc. So, I was born in 2nd of May 1997 in Northern Ireland in a town called Antrim, in County Antrim. And I got introduced to gaming in 2001, 2002. We had a PlayStation 1 and I played uh, the original Tekken uh, and Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. Those three games what is what got in me introduced to gaming and they were unbelievable games for their time. Tekken 3 is definitely still one of the best fighting games of this fighting genre ever, ever in my opinion. Tekken 3 is one of the best games I've ever played. Soon after we got a uh, PS2 and I got Spider-Man 2 and that game was exceptional, oh my god. Everyone knows how great Spider-Man 2 was and it's still great to this day. It's a fantastic game and still the best Spider-Man game you'll ever play. And then also we had a PC at home. Um, and I, my dad was playing uh, the, the original Mafia and I just, like each night, I would stand beside the computer and watch him play it. And I, I it got me more into the gaming thing. So I was like, well, you know what? Um, I think I might really enjoy gaming in the in the long run, and it turns out I did cause, because I think Mafia took it off, like made it even better for me, like it made, made me more into gaming. And then we had uh, we got our hands on Medal of Honor, the Medal of Honor series uh, with Allied Assault, and that's a classic shooter as well, one of the best games ever as well. It was developed by Infinity Ward, but they were later, uh, formerly known as Twenty Fifteen. It was still a great game. Medal of Honor Ally Assault is definitely one of those games you have to play. It was on PC, but so many memories with it. I, ha I happened to buy the 10th anniversary edition of the Medal of Honor series on PC. So it was great to get my hands on that game again. And then we moved on to the PS2 era. Got Spider-Man 2, that was great. There were so many great games I played in that system. We had uh, Call of Duty 3. Well, Call of Duty 3, I played the hell out of game. You I don't know many times I played through that campaign. It was literally must have been about fifteen times. I don't know actually to be honest, but I did play Call of Duty three constantly a lot. Like around two the around two thousand seven, I played a ton, a ton of World War Two shooters. We had Call of Duty three, the Medal of Honor series with Vanguard, European Assault, Rising Sun, Frontline. Uh, what else do we have? I also played that game Bully on PS two when it came out. Phenomenal game. Uh, my friend had the game first, and then I went over to his and we played it. It was about uh, about eight years ago. Played Bully. Phenomenal game. Still love it to this day. I'm still waiting for a Bully too. So hopefully that happens sometime in the future. Then we had other games on that era like uh, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Have so many memories of that game too. Great game. Even though I didn't get even that many great reviews. I still think it was a great game to this day. Other games we did have were uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. That was a, other, another great Spider-Man game uh, based on the Ultimate comics. It was, had a different art style to other this other Spider-Man games out there. That was a really enjoyable game also. And then we moved on to the Xbox 360 era, which I did get my Xbox 360 when Call of Duty World at War came out. And I was about, I was 11, I think, at the time when World of War came out. That's, what, seven, seven years ago? And I got World of War, Halo 3, and the original Gears of War with my Xbox. And I did play World of War, and it was a great game. I still love World of War, it's, my, it's an amazing Call of Duty game. And then I played Halo, great, great, great campaign. Never got to play a multiplayer for about a year, a year later, till I got Xbox Live for my Xbox. Then I had Gears of War. Still a classic, classic th uh, third-person shooter, cover shooter to this day. Still love Gears of War, even though I'm on PS4 now. I'm going to miss the Gears of War series until I get my hands on the some Xbox system in the in the future. But then we got, I got recommended by I think these people, my dad's work, to play Assassin's Creed. From what I remember, I was told about Assassin's Creed, and then I just happened to go and get it down in a uh, game. Just around the back of my house where the game store was for about 13, 13 quid. 
and I did not know what the hell to do in that game. The time we got to the city of Damascus and we had to do the investigation missions to locate the assassination, assassination target, I had no idea what to do. It just got me lost. I was completely lost in that game. I did not know what to do. Then later on I caught on and then I knew I played through that game countless times. I don't know how many times I played through AC1. But that got, got me into Assassin's Creed. Uh, it was a great time, great feeling. Because then that built up the hype for Assassin's Creed 2, which turned out to be an amazing game all, all around. So many great memories of this game and thing, you know. Um, PC on the, I think it more took more or less took off when I played the when I was on PC playing games. I played like you know Toy Story 2 on PC. That was a great game also. Uh, Spider Man 1 on PC. Uh, Operation Flashpoint, the the, very, the original game. Uh, Ghost Recon, the very first one on PS on PC. Uh, what other games we have? Uh, you know, we actually really had lots and lots of rather old but classic PC games. Um, there was an old Buzz Lightyear game too. That was amazing. That was based on the the old animated TV series from the nineties. Great game also. And then you know, I just get, had to give credit to all these games that have got me into this, you know, community because you know I've made a lot of friends now through the community. The gaming community, um, in real life and via YouTube and the internet. So it's re it's a really great feeling to meet all these new people because they have the same interests as you, and you can talk about it days upon end. It just has a, it's just a great thing to f to have, and a great feeling in you know you know what I mean. But I'd like to thank you, Slinky, for introducing me to this here hashtag the person behind the gamer. And also, I just want to mention about the PS4 era. Um, well, the P we're in the current generation of the, per the PS4, the Xbox One, and I cur uh, currently, as it stands, I am enjoying the Xbox. I don't know the PS4, sorry, but it hasn't got too many games that are defining the system completely. I'm not the biggest fan of The Last of Us, to be honest, but I still like the game, even though I have sold the game already. But so far, games like Shadow of Mordor, Wolfenstein: New Order, Batman: Arkham Knight. Um, Tomb Raider as well, and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, they are the games that are defining the system for me. I love the PS4 now currently as it stands, just just the games have to get more improved for me, in my opinion, but there there's some great games on there, on that system that I love so much. And yeah, that's my little, kind of my little story for my hashtag the person behind the gamer. And I can't think of really anyone to nominate right now for do, do the, to do this video, so I'm going to nominate from the top of my head, Alan3345. And that's pretty much all I to say for this video guys, if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and tell me in the comment section below on what you thought of the raw video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Up on the point! The CEO wants DE and F companies to scare the rest of the bunkers back there! Taylor, Ward, Carter, let's go mop up. The rest of you stay here. The company shows up.